Hello and welcome to the news at nine. I am Fatima Sidiki for the news headline. Tinubu meets IDB management in Saudi, negotiate multi billion dollar funding, prioritize common good of people over partisan interests. Tinubu charges governors elect. Tinubu inherited a bankrupt country. NSA reviews. Senator Sali Mustafa old two-day capacity building retreat for youth development associations in Kwara Central. 179 Nigerian students leave for Russia on scholarship. U.S. to support Nigeria's creative industry. UNICEF votes $1 billion to tackle teenage pregnancy in Nigeria. Minister attacks Super Eagles on 2026 World Cup qualification. Now, the news in details. President Bola Tinubu has advanced negotiations concerning a multi billion dollar finance from the Islamic Development Bank Management to fund infrastructure projects in Nigeria. He said Nigeria is the candle of hope that will light the way for Africa, stressing that once Africa is illuminated, the world will be a brighter place for all. Humanity. President Bola Tinubu has asked the victors in the November 11 governorship elections in Bayesa, Imo, and Kogi State to prioritize the common good of the people over partisan interests and the spirit of fostering a harmonious and inclusive political landscape in their state. While congratulating Governor Hope Uzadima of Imo State, Duya Diri of Bayesa, and Usman Ododo of Kogi State on their victory, the president in a statement said, the electorate's participation in the process affirmed the resilience of democratic institutions and the power of the people in shaping the nation's political landscape. The National Security Advisor, Nohu Rivadu, has lamented that the current administration inherited a bankrupt country from the previous administration of former President Muhammadu Buhari. According to him, the revenue generated by the Bola Tinubu led administration is being used to repay what was taken from the country. He, however, said, despite the financial constraints that had affected budgetary allocations, the federal government will do everything within its power to ensure a robust and viable defense management and apparatus in the country. Senator representing Kwara Central Senatorial District at Nigerian Senate, Abuja, Senator Sali Mustafa has organized a two-day capacity building retreat aimed at empowering young leaders from various youth development associations across the Kwara Central District Centuria District. The training organized by the Office of the Technical Advisor to Senator Salim Mustafa on skill development, entrepreneurship, and job creation aired at Michael Imodu Institute of Labor Studies in Lorraine and attracted attendance of over 200 participants representing leaders from World Youth Development Associations throughout the Kwara Central Centuria District. Senator Salim Mustafa expressed the belief that community development associations play a crucial role in grassroots development. He emphasized that effective administration at the world level is paramount for the overall progress of the district. Alaji Muhammad Uthman Jaguma, the technical advisor to Senator Salim Mustafa on community engagement, highlighted the non political nature of the retreat, underscoring its primary focus on grassroots development through the leadership of youth development associations across the district. Director General Michael Imodu Institute of Labor Studies in Lorraine, Comrade Isa Aremu, said the facility of the institute was facilitated by late Waziri of the Lorraine, Dr. Abubakar Olushala Saraki, and urged. Senator Mustafa to continue in the full step by facilitating more impactful projects for Kwara Central. Highlighting a concerning trend, Alaji Muhammad Bashir Ibrahim, Kwara State Commandant of the Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency, revealed that in the Ilan Emirates, 80% of those arrested for substance abuse this year fall within the ages of 14 to 40 years. Also speaking, 
Dr. Saudat Salah affirmed that communication is a barometer for measuring whether a community is developed or not. She charged the participant to always use understandable language when interacting for effective communication. The president of the Elon Emirates Youth Development Association, Malam Abdelai Babatu de Salau, on behalf of the participants, appreciated all the facilitators and assured them that lessons learned will be inculcated in their daily activities as leaders of the respective groups. A total of 179 Nigerians are built to travel to Russia to pursue undergraduate degrees under the 2023-24 Bilateral Education Agreement. Speaking at a pre-departure briefing in Abuja, Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, ordered scholars to be good ambassadors of the country. The United States has pledged its support for Nigeria's creative industry to enhance its growth. According to a statement by the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria, the U.S. could support Nigeria's effort to enhance its already flourishing creative sector, which is driving economic growth and workforce development. The United Nations Student Fund on Monday lamented the prevailing increase in the number of adolescent children becoming mothers before the age of 18 years. It therefore called for immediate and comprehensive intervention by the government at all levels, noting that it had committed $1 billion investment in Nigeria over the next five years. The last on the news is sports. The Minister of Sport Development, Senator John Eno, has urged the Super Eagles of Nigeria to start their qualifying campaign strong and pick a ticket for the 2026 FIBA World Cup. The minister said this on Tuesday in Abuja ahead of the team's opening home game against Lesotho on Thursday in Uyo in the qualifying series. <laughs>